aus. Hey, what's going on, vets? Markel here, back with another video. So first I wanna say, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an advocate, and in no way am I giving you legal advice. I'm simply asking, answering a question that was asked, okay? So let's get into this. So I had a veteran who reached out to me. They're going through a divorce and they have children, and they asked me if I was familiar with what an apportionment is. Yes, I've heard of an apportionment and I gave you guys the definition of what an apportionment is in the beginning of the video. So basically what it is, is where the VA can legally deduct money from either your retirement or your disability pay, depending upon the judgment from the states and the rules and the laws from whatever particular state you're in. Every state looks at compensation, disability, and retirement completely different. Where some states will say, yes, your VA disability is a part of your total gross monthly income. Other states may say, no, we're not gonna try to take anything away from your disability pay. So this is something that veteran needs to know or talk to an attorney an advocate or someone at the Department of Veterans Affairs who can let you know whether or not your state is one of the states that allows your VA compensation to be part of your total gross income. It works the same way with Social Security. A lot of times when you are on Social Security, and this is why I heart on veterans to get on Social Security, is because your dependent, in this case your child, would receive half of what you get. Not the half from your money, but a separate half that has nothing to do with the portion you get from Social Security. So for example, if you're getting $2,000 a month, your child will receive an additional $1,000. So your total household income just from Social Security would be $3,000 a month. This will help you also avoid situations like this with child support because a lot of times what you receive in social security that child will get would usually offset what you would owe in child support now real quickly just want to run through this all right this is normally how this situation would go and this is just an example let's say that you got married you got married to a lady that you decide you didn't want to work and understand what you guys do whether you're in the states or out of the states when you decide to marry someone who has no job no income you marry them okay you have a child for them years later you decide to get a divorce it's not working guess who has to take care of that ex-spouse and that child that would be you so in any way in this situation uh, decided they want to get a divorce now the veteran was under the impression that his VA benefits could not be garnished and in a lot of situations that is true this is why I'm telling you it depends on the state that you're currently in and what the rules are in the state hopefully this information helps someone out hopefully you'll go get an attorney an advocate or someone who knows about apportionments to help you if you are totally confused. But the bottom line is, yes, you are responsible for that spouse who didn't have a job and you are responsible for that child. So your money, Department of Veterans Affairs compensation, is not exempt from you taking the care of your responsibilities as long as the state does it the correct way and not trying to do it the illegal way. All right, guys? Hopefully this information helped you out. Until the next time, guys, I am out. Peace. Enjoy.